Hey, Candler. What is up? Oh, you guys are awesome. Um, how's my band? They've come. They've come from Melbourne, so we need to wait. We need to give them like a proper Candelo Bega Valley welcome. So, Megan Bernard. And on my right, Kelly Tonyuma. Um, all right, I'm gonna sing, I wanna sing a very Bega Valley song right, right now. Um, it's about moving house from just out the road in Toothdale here to the Big Smoke. That's right. I live in Bega now. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, let's do it. It's called the East Street. Scrubbing down the skirt. Tell, tell you something Delphi told me. <laughs> if that's all right, Delphi. <laughs> um, so Delphi, for those that don't know Delphi, pretty much everyone knows Delphi. She's seven. Delphi. <laughs> Delphi. <laughs> Delphi. 
Um, I was listening back to the recordings of our rehearsals because we've been rehearsing down in Melbourne. Um, and Delphi come in and she goes, Mum, <laughs> she goes, Mum, all of your songs, like every single one of your songs, really, all of them, sound like someone lost in a dark forest. <laughs> You mean like, kind of like, uh, like mysterious and, and like beautiful? And she goes, no. <laughs> like, more like scary and sad. <laughs> so anyway, you can, you can decide, you can decide how that story relates to uh, the song we are going to play now. This is called Why So Serious.
Mm. <laughs> yeah, thanks to everyone that Michael mentioned before. Um, this really is an awesome organisation. And uh, <laughs> I'm not just saying that because I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> And Sambo sounds really, really good up here, so thank you very much. It's all okay. <laughs> and, and thank you, Cal, because yes, indeed. Um, so, three years ago, like pretty close to the day, I reckon, mm. at the 2019 Candelo Village Festival, who was here? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, I stood pretty much here, I reckon? Yes. Same harp? I was fucking wearing the same jacket, sorry kids. Same jacket. <laughs> and the black satin skirt. Yes. I That's thought you right, were classical. Skirt. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it was a group show, the Candle Oha show, awesome show. And I played one, I think I played two songs, but we, were, we won't talk about the other one. I played this song and these two cats Mouth. were sitting on the bloody, weren't you on the... Yeah, on the tiered back. seating at the back. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> they approached me later and we had a chat and turns out we're like three little peas in a pod. And um, now they're on stage with me. They produced my album, um, which we have copies of, like heaps of copies. So like, come and say hi and we'll sign it. We could all sign it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so... <laughs> So this is the song. This is it. This is the one that, that started it all. <laughs> and I, now I'm going to start the song because that would be the thing to do now at this point. And this song's called Good Mind. If you want to yeah. sing along, yeah. yeah. If you want to sing along at the end, you know, it would make me very happy. Take away my 
for just two seconds. It's good, it's important to be able to kill the vibe, I feel. <laughs> um, so, who, I can't actually see you, so, oh, now I can. Oh, look at you, beautiful things. Hey. Um, Black summer bushfires. I don't know how else to bring that up apart from just saying the bushfires were a thing that happened to a lot of us um, and yeah a lot of people had a, a much more traumatic and difficult time than I did um, but yeah there's a few moments that happened that I'll just never ever forget that like burned into my memory and I need to kind of give you one of those moments to preface this next song um, so I was evacuated a bunch of times, but the scariest time, um, me and Delphi and a bunch of beautiful people we were camping with were evacuated to Naruma. And um, it was, you know, you guys all probably experienced this or something similar, but we had this, um, yeah, these few days where we were in Naruma um, and there was no, um, no power, no phone, no internet and no fuel, and all the highways were closed in every direction. Um, and yeah, this, this morning, standing on the street at about 10 in the morning, and it's dark, you know, like night. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, dark, like dark, like night, with the like black soot falling down and coating everything in black. And like to the horizon, not very far away because there was hills, is like the red glow of the fire front, you know, and we're just thinking, oh my God, are we going to end up in the ocean like they did in Malkuta? Um, <laughs> anyway, I want to say at this point that I am really bad in a crisis. Like, don't turn to me. If anything happens tonight, <laughs> talk to Sam. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, yeah, really bad in a crisis. Like I can follow direction, but I can't make decisions. And I like, I can't think basically my brain just. And uh, I, I kind of blame that fact for the other part of the story that happened that morning on the street in Naruma, which was that I chose that exact moment, like the full peak of the like terrifying time, <laughs> to um, make a certain declaration to someone, may have been a bold declaration of love, may have been completely and rather brutally rejected in said moment. <laughs> so that was an intense day. <laughs> but I got this song out of it and I... <laughs> <laughs> so it took me, it took me three years to write it, but I, I, I knew I was going to write it. I held it, held onto it for three years, finally come out with it. It's called Fool of the Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> and the fool in this song is definitely me.
All right. How are you guys going out there? You right? Is that can, can, no one? No one walked out. <laughs> Love it. Do you want me to say something? Sure, I've got something. Oh no, I should save that for when you've got to do your thing for the song later on. What? For <laughs> you know what I mean. You yeah. know where there's that gap that you're like, you guys should be talking here because I've got to do stuff. Yeah. Why don't anyway. we just say hi to our mums? Hi mums. <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> My mum came all the way from Townsville. Well, uh, my sister and her husband and children came all the way from Singapore. That so. they were. You guys win for sure. Completely win. Um, what about the drama? What? What? What about the drama? His family. Oh, well, his uh, sister-in-law and brother-in-law and their children came all the way from Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> well done. 
well done. Good save. Um, I feel like I have to say stuff, but it doesn't matter, does it? I'll just play the song <laughs> and that will be okay. Um, all right. Well, whew. this one um, is about history, but not like not like recorded history, but like the real, like incontrovertible history of the world, which we can't, we don't know, but we all kind of get born into it, inevitably carrying this weight. Oh, there goes the dark forest. <laughs> History's a heavy coat, wove of heavy thread. History, the heavy load upon heavy heads. History is carried slow. Given to a newborn. Make it from the time you are born. Make it with an open head. Make it in a pool of salt. A promise to the dead. Make it on a star of rock. Oh. Gap. I was saying where you were harassing us about having Hello. to talk here. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to talk to them about jigsaws and puzzles and jigsaw puzzles. Oh, yeah. Any um, votes on what is the correct 
term? Is it a jigsaw, is it a puzzle, or is it a jigsaw puzzle? Anyone? That was a stupid way to do it because they all just answered at the same time. <laughs> the point is, Anactoria has puzzles for sale. Handmade by Barbara down the road in Pambula. Handmade. Handmade. So, you, yeah, you, and carry on. I'm done. I'm oh. <laughs> puzzles, t shirts, CD, vinyl, mailing list. Anything else? I think that's it. song, my loves. <laughs> it went quick, didn't it? It's alright, you're gonna like it.
and dance just for this last one. Come on. I love you too. Hey. Oh, it's 